with the stair, with the traction control off no it's you understand how much power the it's... ecu is cutting but this is very fast this is actually a really fast car okay it's making a sound <laughs> Before we start this video we want to say a big thank you to Bridgestone India. Bridgestone has been one of the biggest tire manufacturers in the world and they've had their hands in almost all types of motorsport. Everything from Formula 1 to Pikes Peak hill climb racers. We are proud to say that Bridgestone India has been a keen sponsor in this year's Valley Run project that we're doing. They have given us amazing back end support but apart from the back end support they create some amazing tires. We highly recommend their B series of tires if you're looking for something like a reasonably priced tire but it's also very durable and has good amounts of grip. And if you're a car enthusiast, we highly recommend you to check out the Turanza and Potenza lineup of tires which are proper proper enthusiast tires. So if you're looking for some new tires, do check out Bridgestone India. Hello and welcome to episode 2 of Road to Valley Run season 2. Today we've got the Audi A6. This is a 3 liter turbo diesel engine and we're going to be remapping it and data logging it as well. So stay tuned and check it out. So now before doing anything fancy we are checking the car for any errors to see if the car is running properly and then after that we're going to take the file and remap it but first i want to tell you guys why is this car so special and actually why is it so rare follow me for the bonnet this it's a turbo v6 diesel which uh, nowadays you don't get quite a lot of engines that come with something like this you get the 5 series uh, diesel engines as well but this is a rare rabbit because it's not sold that much this audi a6 is actually quite difficult to find so we are actually quite happy that we've sourced one of these because it's going to be quite fast and you guys don't even know how fast So as you can see we've already taken the file corrected all the errors and now we're going to take it for a short test drive a short spin to see if all the errors have been corrected we'll come back read it again see if anything's gone wrong after that we can start the remapping process which uh, I'm pretty sure you guys already know what to do with it and uh, then we'll go for another test run and actually see what gains have we made in we see a couple of values right now and uh, niranjan was actually recording all of the values throughout the rev range in every rpm so that we actually can record every single detail that the engine is performing at and we can uh, diagnose all our problems through that and remap it through there through there okay so initial impressions of the cast talk is that 580 newton meters of torque are delivered really nice and early in the rev band so we're going to try and maintain that in our map and uh, that's it it's quite an effortless car now i can't wait for the stage 1 map and let's take it out after that while niranjan was cooking up the stage 1 ecu remap for the a6 I wanted to show you some of the cool features from this luxurious barge because one thing is for certain if you think the power isn't impressive the tech will surely compensate for it apart from the 3 liter v6 that gives us an advantage over the competitors is this little badge over here that says quattro yes this is a four wheel drive car so it does plant the power quite much better than a front wheel drive or a rear wheel drive car 
so we can transform the ecu and dcu into making much more power and pushing the power down much better so inside the a6 even though it's an 8 9 year old car this is proper proper luxury you're wrapped around leather everywhere this wood and other soft touch plastics everywhere <laughs> plus you've got a uh, dsg so you've got uh, paddle shifters the screen flies up to your, towards you which is really nice plus you've got pneumatic suspension so the person behind you if he needs some comfort and he's doing some accounts behind your uh, boss whatever he's doing some accounts behind you can go into the car settings and switch the air suspension into comfort that raises the ride height and makes it a bit more plushy and if the accountant himself needs to be uh, prompt at reaching somewhere he can just put just put it in dynamic and send it anywhere because the suspension drops down and gets quite quite stiff so well luxury after i was done fooling around in the a6 Niranjan was ready with the file and we started to upload the stage 1 ECU remap. Okay, so we are almost done with uh, the coding part and the mapping part of it and we are going to be taking the car out now for a little spin and see what's what. We usually take 2-3 tries before we finalize the map. So this is going to be the first try and uh, we are expecting around a 30% increase in power. You guys already know the numbers of its stock and we are expecting a, a, an estimated 30% increase in power. Now we are going to see how it translates to the road. So let's go. Now it's pulling. Now it's pulling, pulling. I don't know if you guys can actually understand the sense of speed because it's very quiet. But this is very fast. This is actually a really fast car. The delivery of torque is just crazy. It doesn't make that much of a ruckus while like going through speed but dear god this thing takes it some speed So I have got my hands on the key of the A6 and I'm going to do a quick little launch to just see how it's actually doing and if that dead spot that Niranjan is saying is actually there not that I am going to be paying any attention to the dead spot because I'm going to be screaming my lungs off, but let's go for it. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is fast. <laughs> there is a dead spot in between two and three, but bro, this thing is fast. The amount of torque that comes because it's it's not even revving up to a lot. It's just here. Take go fast with the uh, with the traction control off. No, it's you understand how much power the it's... ECU is cutting. Are you camera si bhi So the final tune was up and on the monitor we saw a number that baffled all of us. 650 Newton meters of peak torque and well upwards of 330 bhp. Now that is some proper sports car territory in terms of horsepower and supercar territory in terms of torque. Okay, so Niranjan and Bhavneet didn't know, I'm guessing they didn't know how to engage launch control but I do since I'm a wag master. <laughs> so back, put the car into die. Put the car into dynamic, it's in dynamic, uh, handbrake down, sport transmission, put it in, it's in manual already and turn the traction off, full brake depress, okay it's making a sound, <laughs> vag master, like vag master, <laughs> why are you making sound? 
on off. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Okay. Back to traction off. So after a full day of developing the tune and mapping the car, we are done with the A6. This is a Valley Run ready car. We are done with all of it, and hopefully, this is one of our winners for uh, this season two. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys want some cool merch like I'm wearing right now, check out throttlestore.co.in and use the code TDH15 to get some nice discounts on our stuff.